Welcome to your community. What do you do? Um, I'm Lil Bagel. Um, basically what I do is, is I am a professional uh, VR events coordinator. I'm also a consultant for VR. Um, I'm, I'm many things, but ultimately I consider myself a VR advocate um, and also by extension, uh, like a VR citizen in some ways. I would say that for the VR community, bringing opportunities for people's talents to shine, honestly. Um, you sort of create this almost play area for people to come into, feel comfortable, really you get to learn about them and then really draw out those kinds of things. Hi, I'm Fiona and I'm a world creator in VR chat. Uh, my name's Joker. People know me as Joker uh, here. Um, Joker is punk. Um, uh, nowadays, uh, I build worlds for VR chat, um, and I uh, uh, I'm teaching myself Unity and programming. So I've uh, released three worlds uh, under my own name so far, um, and also in the realm of VR chat, I I work with a group of people uh, named uh, the Ferryman Collective who have um, done so far three VR live theater productions uh, in VR chat. How did you get started with VR community? When I first saw VR chat and what you could do here, I started out on the official Discord and I was in the world creation channels and just met other people who were also interested in learning how to create worlds. In the past, I'd done like mapping um, and sort of mod making for uh, like Half-Life. So I saw Rec Room as a creative platform and I thought like, oh, oh my God, like this is more cool creative stuff. And I sort of learned a little bit of programming skill and sort of creative processes. Um, and, you know, through that, I just got connected with this entire social world, um, you know, of VR enthusiasts and, and, and other sort of people in the virtual community. Um, and like I said, I, you know, I got connected with uh, the Orange Bucket acting troupe. That's how I got into the VR community. And uh, since then, I've obviously made, way, made my way into VR chat. What had happened was his a friend of mine came over to my house and put um, like he took his phone and he put it inside of like one of those cheapo plastic uh, headsets, like the Google Cardboard stuff and put it on my head. And uh, we got into VR chat for the first time. He asked me, he was like, well, what's your favorite game? And I told him Banjo-Kazooie, and he types it in as a world, and turned out Spiral Mountain was actually in VR chat at the time. And I got to see my favorite game in a 3D virtual environment, and immediately I was sold on VR. But yeah, and then, since then, everything else was history. That was my first uh, experience with VR and VR chat, and I was extremely impressed and thought it was a really good investment. Um, when I started, it was way back in the day when there was very few people online at any one point. I mean, some nights you'd go on to VR chat and there was nobody there at all, um, literally nobody online. And so basically whoever was online and whoever was in VR chat, you knew, and you just sort of, you know, grew up in VR chat, knowing all of the people that are there. What's your goal with the community? Whatever little bit I have of, you know, touching the future of VR, um, my goal is to make it uh, make it something that empowers people it's something that can, that can be used you know for them and does good for them does good for society i think my singular goal when it comes down to virtual reality would be to end up creating a as lots of systems that individuals can utilize to better their experiences in the metaverse this includes creating collaborative spaces for our creators helping out um, community members find communities where they fit into, um, just basically general uh, overall information, um, just being able to, uh, to find um, places where we can distribute information freely amongst ourselves. Um, so everything really becomes, um, you know, our own. Uh, I, I think for me personally, it's almost like a mission or an endeavor on my part to have more people realize what it is that makes VR so great, which is this whole idea that you can connect with people all over the world, completely unrelated to your location. Geography doesn't matter. You're no longer limited to making friends with the people that are in your immediate vicinity. You're making friends with people all over the world. And you're able, once people start figuring out, wow, like now that can really drive my friend groups and my community, the community that I build and the community that I'm part of, it's no longer locked down to geography. You end up having really close relationships with people from all over the world, completely separate of where they are. My goal is to not only create 
awesome content, but to help other people learn how to create as well. So I like to help facilitate putting out prefabs and tools for other people that can um, use those to create their own things. Why should you join the community? It's a place you can go where you have a lot of control. Um, you have a lot of control over your experience and you can um, learn things about yourself by, first of all, exposing yourself to new experiences and seeing how, you know, you react to those. But also because, you know, you have that layer of anonymity and because it's an investment, you get more out of it. You get more experience out of it. Um, and the, the special, the even more, the special thing about social VR is it's not just investment in an experience. It's not like a thing that you're doing that you're getting something from. It's a shared experience. VR Chat's a place where you can learn how to create anything that you can dream of yourself. There's a lot of tools and expertise and help out there to help you do that. And I think it's just great to see what everybody um, can accomplish. If you're drawn to come in here at all, even if you're not and you're just looking for something in life to connect with other people, to make further relationships, to to feel like you're part of something, then you should really want to join the VR community. If you want to be able to experience a social experience unlike any other, and basically what you do is, is that you'll you'll buy that headset, you'll come in, you'll be able to come into VR chat and meet some good friends and if you're somebody who's at home and looking to maybe get over social anxiety or even just looking for more friends to hang out with this is a good idea how do you join i think the best way to become part of a community is to um both on discord and in vr chat go to places where other people who share your interests are likely to be whether that's playing games whether that's hanging out in chill places or um somewhere at an event like the community meetup where you can meet other creators Go into public lobbies, connect with people, and try to go, like, sort of travel down the layers and find the different communities that are, that are a little bit hidden and do that until you find some people that you really connect with. That's I think that's the way to, to really join a community in, uh, in virtual reality. Head towards the things that are really of interest to you, the things that draw you in. This is the whole thing is that you're not going to learn about what's here and what VR community and VR in general and this whole social space has to offer unless you come in and you just sort of dive in and figure out what's what's here and what's interesting. You jump in, you hit play, <laughs> you know, you come on in, make your account and then start getting to know people around you. Um, but the first thing I would recommend everybody to stop at is here in VRCon. VRCon 2021 will happen in September 9th the 12th and that will also uh and that's going to be much more communities then and we'll see we're seeing communities return as well it's it's a fantastic opportunity to see where you fit in